కుట్టాలి anybody who is below 18 years of age those yeah. who is in conflict with law he is uh, specifically called as a delinquent okay. so, juvenile children and a delinquent juvenile yes sir so who is heading your uh, juvenile secretary sir uh, now the it is being headed by uh, avilash chenapati he was the adj of uh, adj kai is from adj kadar mm-hmm. he was adj of noabada district mm-hmm. now he is so what is your role you are assisting him <coughs> yes sir like uh, sir uh, we are uh, required to like sir uh, jj boards are there mm-hmm. juvenile justice boards mm-hmm. and the uh, child welfare committees are there mm-hmm. so they are what how many cases they are, uh, are adopting mm-hmm. and how much disposal they are doing we are analyze that mm-hmm. like we compile the data and we see that if there is a uh, lot of uh, piling of cases mm-hmm. then we high court directs them that who are what is the them. number of the cases in juvenile court or justice juvenile justice sir it is according uh, to sir 30 districts we have 34 jjbs so you are having a jjbs in every yes sir so what is the exact number of the cases pending with the jjbs sir it is it varies from uh, like around the uh, no, you know every district every total sir total uh, okay, since you are a pex body you know you are yes, dealing sir. all the state yes sir sir uh, total sir around uh, mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. in all jjbs sir it is around 5000 Uh, cases are pending 5700 around so what could be the reason for piling up of such number of the cases given there is a jj board in each and every district yes sir and still there are 5000 so children they are facing the problem yes sir so what could be the reason sir actually uh, the pendency sir they are also disposing every month they are also disposing hmm. but the incoming also is also the institution uh, every month it is also high so yes, institution sir. is on higher side yes sir So Actually, since you have mentioned your uh, hobbies and interests, yes. playing table tennis, cooking, Odia cuisine, and yes. all. Yes, so, where is the playing table tennis is concerned? What is the position of India at the world level in table tennis? So, I am not aware. What about in Commonwealth Games? Uh, I did not. Uh, sir, in table tennis category, I completed. This, 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 yes, this CWG. I am not aware. You are not aware. Sir, actually, that I have to like. I'm not prepared. Like, uh, what I I don't actually watch uh, much of my. What you mentioned the playing? Yes, sir. Play, play, play like it was. That was just that I play. You know, this year the 44 year person has won a gold medal. That is thing which is. Chal. Now you have mentioned the cooking, good or poison. Which poison you would prefer to cook? Sir, like uh, non-veg dishes, like uh, particular uh, chicken. Uh, Sir, chicken pudina. I can cook chicken. So how chicken pudina is different? Puriya cuisine. How it is different than other ch- chicken normal? Sir, like uh, it has uh, like we add more of pudina leaves by grinding and them. So it gives a very like uh, a different taste of like pudina flavor is. Other than non-vegetarian. Sir, non, sir, in veg, uh, vegetarian also, sir, like we have in Odia we have our dalma mm. and sir santura. This. Mm. Sir, And if if you are supposed to be someone ask you to prepare a bhaji, puriya bhaji, yes, how you will prepare it? What sir. are the ingredients required for bhaji? Sir, uh, like uh, like uh, common vegetables, mm. like uh, a potato is there. Mm. Sir, potato uh, mm. and uh, sir English I have no more. Pointed card. Yes, sir. Mm. And uh, the so right now you are serving with the ONGC? No, sir. Huh. Uh, sir, I have uh, yes, yes, sir. After you and before uh, sir, yeah, yes, I have sir. an internship. Uh, now I am in Odisha only. Okay. Sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My first 
Sir is posing a very simple question. What is simple special question for you? Know. What is special for you today? Sir, so, me. Mm. Sir, so, today is my birthday. Many happy birthdays. <laughs> thank you, sir. Mm. We show happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, yeah. ma'am. So, yeah. So there are uh, different fields in engineering. Yes, sir. Why specifically you wanted to take this petroleum engineering? Sir, actually, uh, I had uh, score. Uh, I had given IIT J, and uh, I had scored a uh, eight, eighteen thousand rank mm -hmm. in two thousand twelve. So, sir, that uh, all the IITs that uh, I wanted to take admission, that was not uh, like at that rank. I was not getting that uh, thing. So, this institution, Pandit Dinda, I got to know from my acquaintance, and he told me about the energy sector and like uh, it is a good sector and this is a good college. And they were taking from the IIT ranks, so I applied for it and I got it. So I uh, pursued that. You pursued this uh, petroleum engineering. Yes, sir. Then why interested in uh, psychology and sociology? Entirely, it's like going to be different from engineering. Why is psychology as well as sociology as your option? Sir, uh, psychology. Uh, so, um, sir, after I started pursuing for civil services, then I. Uh, Look through the what uh, of subjects I can take. Then psychology was like little very interesting because uh, the experiments they have done like IP Pavlov and all. So to read a, uh, not for academic for purpose for reading like that it was very interesting for that. So I thought of pursuing it in uh, the civil services. And uh, so sociology was uh, madam uh, sociology was very like. Uh, uh, not very, uh, not very l use of jargons and all. It was very simple, <laughs> like uh, we could relate to it. Like uh, it is like a marriage, family, society, which we see in day to day to lives. That is that was in there. So I felt like it is a very, uh, it will, it is easy to understand and. You consider the institution of marriage very simple and easy. Sir, <laughs> is that toughest institution? It is toughest. <laughs> <laughs> so, like uh, about your uh, petroleum engineering, sir. Do we have petroleum in India? Yes, sir. Where do we have petroleum in India? Sir, we have uh, in Cambay Basin in Gujarat. Cambay sir, Basin in, Gujarat. sir in uh, Mumbai, Bombay offshore, we are drilling. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, in South also. We have uh, KG Basin, Krishna Godavari Basin, we are dealing there. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, uh, this. We have, but still we are dependent on other countries. Yes, sir, sir because uh, the production is very less. According to the demand we have, the energy demand we have as uh, our population is showing and uh, the dem and we are developing at a very fast rate. So, uh, according to our demand, the production is very uh, negligible kind of. That is why 85 percent of our energy needs are being imported. So, Krishna Godavari basin you have mentioned about that. Yes, sir. What about the methane gas which is present there? Sir? Yes, sir. Methane. Methane gas, yes, sir. What the, why, like it is present only in that Krishna Godavari basin or in other places as well? Sir, it is uh, not only present in Krishna, it is also present in other. It is, sir, uh, uh, methane is also uh, being extracted from coal mines in form of coal bed methane. And, uh, sir, uh, uh, sir, other basins also, I think they are. Coal bed methane. Yes, sir. There was an issue in uh, Tamil Nadu a few years back, something related to this uh, coal bed methane, and uh, people were, maybe they were against certain things. What was that? It is related to petroleum. What was that? Sir, I am not aware of it. Okay, fine. What will you do in this aspect, especially like how you are going to maintain the energy resources of India? Maybe when you are getting posted as an OAS officer, something like you are getting some opportunity to work for the energy sector of your state. What will be your action? Sir, uh, my action will be, sir, uh, first thing is. Uh uh, my first move will be to re try to reduce the dependence on the fossil fuels. Sir, as we are uh, going, uh, as our state government is also pursuing, we are pushing towards uh, electric vehicles and more like other non-conventional sources of energy, like solar energy, wind energy. So that uh, the dependence on the petroleum and uh, petroleum and natural gas, that is lessened to some extent. 
because a uh, lot of uh, imports and uh, it is uh, adding to our uh, fiscal deficit and all. So, sir, uh, it will be more pushed towards uh, like non-conventional sources of energy. Non-conventional sources of energy. Yes, so, sir. you are coming from this uh, Sundargarh. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. What is the speciality of Sundargarh? What type of minerals are present in Sundargarh? Sir, uh, Sundargarh, sir, iron ore is there and uh, sir, uh, mainly sir, iron ore. Okay, Kans, okay, what's the meaning about your name? Uh, it is uh, ek anch, like one part only, and there is no other part. Okay, like. that uh, meaning it is related to psychology. Can you tell me which theory really looking about that aspect? You are talking about Pavlov. Yes, sir. I was so yes, impressed. Ma yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is also one group of theorists. Yes, ma'am. So, which theory it is related with your accounts? Okay. What's the difference between that Pavlov's contribution and Skinner's contribution in the field of psychology? Yes, ma'am, uh, Pavlov has talked about uh, operant conditioning, classical conditioning, and uh, there's, uh, Skinner has told about operant conditioning. In uh, classical conditioning, Pavlov has uh, told about there is a uh, he has tried to establish the stimulation stimulus uh, relationship, like uh, sir, no sir stimulus uh, response relationship is in operant conditioning, okay. sir uh, stimulus stimulus uh, relation yes yes sir. Sir, okay, yeah, but, okay. Yes, that is that understanding. Yes, How these two principles will be applicable in your administrative service? Sir, uh, ma'am, uh, operant conditioning, like it uh, talks about how you give reinforcement and according to that, the con it is the, you can be a condition the behavior in uh, other uh, people. So, ma'am, like uh, if we want uh, behavior like uh, suppose you are one administrative yes, officer, yes, ma'am. Where you can apply classical conditioning, where you can apply operant conditioning. Ma'am, for example, if I am a bureaucrat and uh, uh, like for example, ma'am, Swachh Bharat Mission Abhiyan, mm. ma'am, then people are reluctant to use bathroom and all that. All it is there, but the government wants to push that. Even after building toilets, they are not using it. So by my uh, uh, operant conditioning that I can give some reinforcements like there's some incentives that if you use this, this, this and ma'am also negatively we can reinforce that if you go and use the field or something this kind of punishment can be given or something is kind of. Is it the classical is it the Ma'am, yeah, this is operant conditioning like then when positive. Then we can use classical conditioning? Um, no. Who got the Nobel Prize on this particular work? So ma'am, IP Pablo. Okay. Ma'am, actually IP Pavlov got uh, Nobel Prize on working on digestive system, he was working not on this, yeah. but uh, he uh, after that he got into this. Uh, okay, uh, Ekans, actually I wanted to know, like uh, you have studied in Dindal Petroleum University. Yes. Who is Pandit Dindal? What is his <coughs> contribution to the society? Ma'am, Pandit Dindal was a uh, Pandit Dindal was one of the parent uh, organ, parent person for this uh, uh, the current uh, ruling uh, party uh, that is BJP, and uh, he was uh, he was a nationalist, and uh, he had his contributions in Indian freedom struggle, and. Uh, so, ma'am, actually I have not uh, prepared that part. Okay, yeah. you have studied in three educational institutes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, some ideology behind that. Can you just connect? In DAV, it has its own ideology. Prabhuji, it has its own ideology. Yes, Even Pandit did that. Yes, ma'am. So, what's the major similarities with these three educational institutes? Ma'am, uh, but all the three... And what is your learning outcome? Ma'am, all three emphasized on the supremacy of our Indian Indian values, Indian uh, like traditional values. They all have told that uh, like uh, Dayan and that Anglo. That is the universal value. Any school starts with this. Uh, sir, uh, ma'am, uh, like uh, you know, Dayan and the Saraswati started DAV with the main purpose that the education should not have British uh, uh, character in it and uh, Indian tradition, we have a rich tradition and according to it we can educate our people, I mean, we educate our kids. And uh, ma'am, uh, Pandit Dindal also emphasized on uh, the facet that uh, our tradition is very great and we don't need to learn or uh, we don't need to like the British uh, thought that they are civilizing everybody where they are uh, forming their kingdom. 
So, they were against that, that uh, we have great Indian civilizational values and we must focus on that. Can you just name three rivers which has passed near that your, you know, Sundargar, going through that Sundargar? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, uh, Brahmani river is there. Okay. And uh, I, I don't know. Okay, you are talking about sociology, it's very easy for you. Yes, My sir. one, you know, simple question. Do you think that right now this individualistic culture really affecting the family structures of the society? Yes, what is your take on it? Yes, ma'am. It is affecting the uh, traditional family society because, ma'am, uh, with more and more individualistic uh, thought process that we are progressing, now the joint family system for which it is a, which is a traditional aspect of Indian uh, uh, cont our country, it is being seen as a institution which is uh, uh, which is taking away our freedom and uh, like it is not giving privacy that like uh, going towards it is the uh, 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 sorry the signs of the individual uh, culture or it is the sign of joint family ma'am uh, that is what indi with increasing individualism it is the joint family is being more is being seen more and okay. more as taking away like privacy they don't want like they're more uh, trending toward nuclearization of the family and uh, uh, more and more it is against the tradition. Okay, just if you speculate as the yes, administrator, in what way really social society is evolving and what would be the kinds of consequence? Uh, Ma'am, uh, that is what uh, as, as society is progressing, we are moving towards more individualizing uh, effect and we are like, uh, we are no longer bound by the traditional uh, norms like uh, family, marriage and all. Ma'am, like, uh, uh, there are more and more, ma'am, live-in relationships are there, ma'am, LGBTQ families have come up, which is a challenge to the traditional norm of family and marriage institutions. So, that is what. Sir, you make a short analysis of yourself. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I have, uh, my strengths are like, uh, sir, uh, my, uh, I am very passionate about uh, what I do. So, and I am very honest and integrate. I, if, I, if I don't know something, I will just admit that I don't know. And, uh, ma'am, sir. Uh, is it a strength or a weakness? Sir, I consider it as a strength because. Uh, okay, that's your yes, perception. Okay. Sir, sir. Uh, sir uh, my weakness is that, um, sir, I haven't actually thought about it. You are making your own assessment, right? Yes, sir. So, do, take your time and tell. Sir, uh, weakness, uh, it is kind of that uh, I like, you know, kind of pers try to pursue like perfection in everything and that has caused me a lot of trouble. So, ma'am, sir, sometimes uh, it is okay not to be, not doing everything the way it is done. But like uh, I become little particular that uh, this if this has to be done this way, then it should be done. And with that, uh, I have also suffered like in uh, my efficiency is decreased. Like when other people can do uh, little uh, means they can do makeshift and go achieve things. Uh, I am stuck somewhere. And uh, sir, it is. Since you have got sociology and psychology, madam is sitting there, yes. authority. So yes, I do not dare to. Yes, I don't dare to enter his yes. horror. <laughs> but still, I want it. He said, eh? sir. What I see is what I want to see. Yes, sir. Now, what is that in this country? Sir, uh, it is actually, sir, uh, any, if we encounter any situation, there are more than one aspect to it. Sir, but uh, the that aspect is more uh, uh, visible to us, which is backed by our cultural values and whatever I have learnt about the world. So, sir, that is what is like uh, what I but want to. Sir, it is, is also related with one theory. One theory I am asking. Yeah. We have gone through psychology. What the topics will cover that? Sir, in ma'am, psychology. What is called perceptual threshold? I'm not aware of it. 
Yes, sir. Privatization of railways is a boon or a bane to Indian economy? Uh, sir, uh, it is a boon uh, to Indian economy. And, and because, sir, uh, uh, railways uh, has been bearing the, uh, uh, has been bearing the, uh, by giving lot of subsidies in travel and like in, in goods, mostly in goods, sir, uh, the, it has always been a loss making entity from uh, the starting of it. So, sir, uh, by privatiz privatizing, the, even with, after even making loss making entity, it is also, it is not very uh, efficient organization. It has not been a very efficient organization. So, with privatization, the efficiency will be increased, like we have more like uh, uh, clean, uh, uh, clean hygiene conditions in the existing uh, st uh, stations where the privatization, private operators have been given. And sir, uh, it may turn into a profit making company which will in long term boost the Indian economy only. Then, then the long term people welfare measures and, and the government schemes which is implemented through this privatization, won't it affect it? Sir, uh, the government is anyway sir giving, uh, uh, government is giving whatever help it can to give in, it has a lot of schemes in other field. Uh, giving uh, subsidies or a cheap uh, something, it is a piece while, piece meal uh, uh, solution. It is not a long term solution. If it would have been a solution, then we would have been a lot, uh, much progressed nation till now. So, sir, uh, incre uh, we should not like provide out uh, this uh, freebies to the people. Rather, we should take structural measures like uh, from the from the beginning, we should give them education. The proper, like so much out of student, out of school students are there. If we uh, make them uh, enough uh, able, then they can at least they can. Uh, that is a long term solution. Uh, giving out freebies is just a, like I feel that it is a political uh, sol short term solution. Okay, there has been recent uh, accusations by people who are differentially able to just handicap that they are not being getting the required facilities yes, and amenities are not created for them and uh, what what as an administrative officer will try to help these differentially abled people sir uh, there are a lot of uh, schemes in place already for them sir the problem the allegations why they are coming is most probably sir because of poor implementation of those Sir, uh, as an administration, I will um, look into the matter that they are being implemented. Like, my, sir, Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan is there, and uh, you know, also the government's uh, uh, government's program is there to make uh, almost all the government institutions accessible to the uh, differently disabled persons. And, uh, sir, for instance, on a personal level, as a bureaucrat. I will make sure that my office has uh, friendly features for the disabled uh, people who can access easily when they at least come to meet me on a starting level and then it can be set on, on a more. Okay. Cyber security is, has become a very big threat yes. to mobile banking. Yes, and uh, uh, can you throw some light on that? Yes, sir. Uh, cyber security has become a lot of uh, danger, sir. We see almost every day on in the newspapers we see cases of bank fraud and uh, account wiping of many people. Uh, so, but uh, the thing is, uh, we have to uh, more and more awareness is being uh, spread by the government. Why every day we get messages and we have uh, TV ads that show that you don't share banking information, confidential information with anybody. And uh, sir, most importantly, a data protection bill that ha that is uh, has come into the, the picture. So uh, with that, uh, like uh, government has uh, told that uh, uh, the localization of data, like everything what is being shared, that will be a local. The multinational companies or the social media organizations, they have to store data here, and uh, they have also told that. Uh, uh, the social media guru officer must be there so that uh, in investigation they can help directly in case of frauds and any uh, kind of thing. Okay. 
is there a need for a new uh, legal framework to govern telecommunication uh, sector in india uh, sir uh, we already have a lot of uh, legal legal frameworks in place so, uh, we should actually look forward for how it is more implemented in uh, place i'm making a new law since you start with the telecommunication law and do you know what is a tri <coughs> yes sir what is that the what tele- are the function of tri sir it is a t- regulatory authority mm-hmm. uh, telecommunication regulatory authority of india now it's supposed to be the chairman of tri who is eligible to be appointed as the chairman of tri as uh, so uh, i think secretary level uh, bureaucrat actually uh, during their uh, this all you mentioned that a petrol substitute we required a substitute to not you think that a hydrogen can be a substitute for that? sir uh, right now sir hydrogen uh, uh, it is a very research and development level hmm. r&d level because sir hydrogen uh, though it has a lot of energy potential and there are two three industries recently they said that we are in the process to developing and within two three years we will provide a solution to this petrol and all sir at the those are claims and that are not on ground uh, they have not and almost uh, both of them they are from gujarat so they have not uh, delivered they are in the i know in a positions sir but uh, but what is your take Do you think that no, they sir. can provide a solution? No sir, not uh, like in two years or something. Two or three, five? Sir, it will take at least I think a decade. Uh, and sir, not only providing solution, we have to also say that the solution must cater to the, the, this uh, huge population of our country and the high energy demands that we as a country require. Even the, this present transport ministry said by 2013 there will be no petrol and all. India will not buy any petrol and all. Every vehicle will be EV. Yes, sir. So they are uh, very aggressively pushing towards uh, electric mm-hmm. EV, mm-hmm. sir. Uh, both uh, in national government and state government also. Mm-hmm. Odisha government has like put lot of measures to uh, push towards EV. Mm-hmm. Like they are giving uh, state employees uh, uh, interest-free loans to purchase EVs, and mm-hmm. they have also told that by 2025, uh, most of and, the. And there like, is a, one scheme by the launched by the government of India, especially the Petroleum Ministry, Ujala. Ujla. Do you think that the scheme is properly implemented and it, the, it has been a proper result as desired by the government of India? Sir, Ujla, I think. Sir, so the LED light scheme uh, are you talking? No, no, Ujla. Ujla, 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 I don't know the result. Yes. Now, since you are an ASO in High Court, and I think you might have been joined six or seven months ago. Yes, sir, six seven months, sir. So, what is the satisfaction level of your job in High Court level? Sir, uh, it is, uh, sir, for uh, it is a very comfortable job, hmm. uh, but uh, the there is no public exposure or there is no incentive for you to do anything for anybody. So it is a very departmental kind of job, like uh, Babu sir. Job. Babu. Uh, yes, sir. You go. You say it's such a little work is there, mm. and uh, you, more like a uh, clerical job at uh, there, and uh, like uh, you cannot like go and change something or do any implementation kind of thing. Mm. Uh, it is a more uh, paper and pen based uh, work. So you joined that job as a backup, lah. Yes, sir. So see, if you be selected, you will even you will you have to surrender that job. You have to resign from that job. Yes, sir. And the high court will ask you to deposit a three month salary. No, sir, it is not there like that, mm-hmm. uh, sir. Uh, because sir, when I have I am inter going for this interview, mm-hmm. I have taken proper uh, permission. NOC, yes, sir, yes, sir. NOC and permission I have already taken. Mm-hmm. So if no, the, those person who have not taken, then they are, they are being fined and all. So any everything I have done like. Uh, Oh, according to the rules. Okay, got this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Ajay. Thank you. Thank you.